I bet let's get to the news now. Today, Travis County Commissioners will start talking about the future of a proposed four to five million square foot Tesla Gigafactory. This is over in Del Valley. And if it's approved, it could create about 5,000 jobs. Yeah, a whole lot of jobs. And commissioners don't plan to vote on this proposal today, but they are going to hear from the public. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez talked with the area's state representative who says this could be a good deal, but he has some reservations. Representative Eddie Rodriguez says he wants to make sure that those who live in his district will benefit from the overall project. The complexion of Travis County is changing and we need to make sure that, that people of color are getting uh, good paying jobs and have an equal opportunity to share in the economic prosperity. A little over 2,000 acres at the intersection of State Highway 130 and Harold Green Road in Del Valley make up the proposed site. The land, part of the Del Valley Independent School District. And Tesla could get nearly $70 million in tax incentives. That could lead to development in the area, which could have an impact on the area's housing market. I think it, overall it would it would benefit the economy within the area, but you know what, what's concerning is the affordability of housing. Currently, Austin Board of Realtors Board President Romeo Manzanilla says the Del Valley area is the most affordable in Travis County, with the median price of homes around $260,000. If the Tesla project is approved, what future development will look like will greatly depend on city and county leaders. But Rodriguez says he wants to make sure the community won't be left to foot the bill. I have had some calls from some constituents that they want to make sure that that they're going to have opportunities uh, to to get these jobs uh, and some and some concerns as well about how much it's going to cost right how much it will cost uh, the school district or the state a uh, legitimate concern concerns some of Tesla's proposed community benefits include partnerships with workforce solutions capital area and Austin Community College to create a workforce pipeline for those who live in Travis County. The company also says it's committed to equity and inclusion in all its programs. In Austin this morning, Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News. We reached out to county commissioners, but they didn't want to comment yet. Folks who want to weigh in on the proposal can do so at today's meeting. You just need to call the number on your screen during the public comment. If you're not able to call, Travis County Commissioners say people can email in their comments. Commissioners could vote on the project in the next few weeks, and if approved, Tesla could begin construction on this site later this year. You know